Hello and welcome to our Holy Week here at Chatham Salvation Army. We're journeying together towards Good Friday and Easter. And uh, this Holy Week we're sharing the journey together under the title of the Hands of Christ. We continue today with the feeding hands of Christ. Yesterday we looked at our hands, hands that speak of love, care, creativity, hands that communicate so much, hands that can start arguments, hands that can bring peace, hands that can do great good. With that thought in our minds, now think of the hands of Christ, the feeding hands of Christ.
Hillsongs gave us these words, Jesus, I need you. Every moment I need you. Hear now this grace brought heart sing out. We spoke of the hand of Jesus being everyday hands, calloused, rough and scarred through manual work. And yet, hands that fed. Remember that well-loved story in John chapter 6, reading from verse 5? When Jesus looked up and saw a great crowd coming toward him, he said to Philip, where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? He asked this only to test him, for he already had in mind what he was going to do. Philip answered him, it would take more than a half year's wages to buy enough bread for each one to have a bite. Another of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. Here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish. But how far will they go among so many? Jesus said, have the people sit down. There was plenty of grass in that place. And they sat down, about 5,000 men were there. Jesus then took the loaves and gave thanks and distributed to those who were seated as much as they wanted. He did the same with the fish. When they had all had enough to eat, he said to his disciples, gather the pieces that are left over. Let nothing be wasted. So they gathered them and filled 12 baskets with the pieces of the five barley loaves left over by those who had eaten. Jesus fed because the boy gave all he had. When Jesus fed, it was not just about right. It wasn't just enough. It was abundant, it was more, it was satisfying, it was individual. As we saw in that story, Jesus feeds them, he's concerned about them. We spoke yesterday about the caring hands. Here we see the miraculous hands, giving food abundantly, and there is always more. Here we see the feeding hands and we read of that in an amazing and practical way. He giveth and giveth and giveth again, says the songwriter. There is also other ways Jesus feeds us. Here is another reading related to Christ's feeding spiritually, as recorded in Matthew 5. Now when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him and he began to teach them. And he said, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. We are fed, we are blessed as we are fed, and we are fed to all the fullness of God can give. And we are fed so that there is more left over to be blessed with. We are blessed and well-fed people by God. Do we realize that? The feeding hands of Christ. Every day we are fed by his word to each and every one of us. The feeding hands of Christ the lessons to be learned. Jesus embracing us with these words, Luke 11, verse one. One day Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he'd finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray. Or was that disciple saying, Lord, feed us. Lord, feed us your spiritual truth. As we approach Good Friday through this Holy Week, Let us not lose sight of what Christ has fed us through our lives. And let us again ask with the disciples, Lord, teach us how to pray. Lord, teach us how to be fed. Teach us how to know you better. We are indeed in his hands. Reflect on these words again as we share 
I'm in his hands. Father, we thank you for your love at this time. We thank you for the opportunity to pause and to reflect on what you mean to each and every one of us. We thank you that during this Holy Week, we can just consider the claims of you upon our lives. We thank you for your hands, Father, your hands that hold us, your hands that love us, your hands that were stretched across a cross and nailed to it to forgive us. So, Father, we just praise you and thank you for all that you do. And as you feed us with your word, may that penetrate deeply into our hearts for us to understand that you love us deeply and that we are able to share that love, that feeding that you give us. So, Lord, we ask you to continue to bless us not just this week and as we approach Good Friday and approach Easter, 
but for all the days that lie ahead. Father, hear and answer our prayers, we pray, in the name of Jesus. Amen.